you for purchasing an Infiniti M30 luxury sports convertible. Because it's such a special vehicle, we'd like to take this opportunity to go over some of the M30 convertible's unique aspects, like top operating procedures, maintenance tips, and warranty information. With this videotape, you'll gain a better understanding of the M30 convertible, all the knowledge you'll need for years of trouble-free ownership, and the special satisfaction that goes along with truly understanding your Infiniti. Owning a convertible is a very special experience. Nothing matters the feeling of the warm sun, of the rush of the open air. It's driving in the purest form. During the course of this program, we're going to review with you the unique features of the M30 convertible. Proper top operating procedures, recommended care and maintenance of the M30 convertible, some special tips and hints, as well as a review of the comprehensive Infinity warranty. Now let's cover some of the features that set the M30 convertible apart from the M30 coupe. First and foremost, the M30 convertible has a one-touch, fully-lined power convertible top with power pull-down motors right in the header. We'll describe its operation in just a few moments. To accommodate the power rear windows and top mechanism, the M30 convertible has a special rear seat and rear quarter trim panels. With the same cushion depth as a coupe, the convertible seats four as opposed to five. As the Bose sound system was specifically designed for the M30 Coupe, Infiniti has designed a special premium audio system for the M30 convertible. It includes an AM-FM electronic tuning stereo plus a full Logic cassette player. And special active speakers. They're specially designed and placed one in each door and one on each side of the rear seat to deliver optimum audio response whether the convertible top is up or down. The M30 convertible also has a manual heating and air conditioning system that's easy to operate. The benefit is that it provides maximum driver control of temperature, again, whether the top is up or down. The M30 convertible has all-season steel-belted radial tires, a rear deck lid spoiler with integrated high-mounted stoplight, special footwell lamps, special sun visors, and interior lamps integrated into the rear view mirror. The M30 convertible also has power rear quarter windows. Their controls are conveniently mounted on the center console. These features set the M30 convertible apart from the M30 coupe. Otherwise, the two cars are virtually identical. The process of lowering the M30's top is nearly automatic. But before we show you how it works, I'd like to pass along some advice. When raising or lowering the top, you should always keep your hand clear of the top and header area, any part of the top linkage, and away from the windows. You should also make sure there are no packages in the top stowage well. That's this area inside the car behind the back seat, since even small items may interfere with top operation. The top should not be raised or lowered when the rear window is dirty or wet. Dirt and grit may scratch the rear window. If the top is damp or wet, it should not be lowered. This could cause interior water damage, create water stains, or possibly subject the top to mildew. Now I'll show you how easy it is to lower the top. Remove all items or packages from between the rear seat back and the top stowage well. And make sure, too, that no items in the trunk interfere with the lowering of the top. You can also remove the boot cover at this time. Now the trunk lid must be closed before you start. We recommend that you set the parking brake, and the transmission must always be in park before you activate the top. Now switch on the ignition and start the engine if you're in a well-ventilated area. Now beside the driver and front seat passenger are special Velcro headliner retainers that keep the headliner in place. Before lowering the top, you should pull these retainers from the inside top side rails. The retainers in the rear release on lowering. Then press the top-down switch to release the top from the windshield header. You'll note, once you press the top-down switch, all four windows are automatically lowered. Continue to press the top-down switch until the top is completely down. Then release the switch. Once the top is down, you may raise the side and rear windows by using the controls on the doors and the console area, if you desire. Another word of caution. Never sit or place excessive weight on the top once it's down.
The boot cover should always be used to cover the convertible top when it's lowered. This not only protects the top, but also covers the exposed top operating mechanism. Installing the boot cover only takes a minute and is easy to do. Remove the boot cover from its protective case. And carefully place it over the lowered top. Secure the boot snaps to the quarter trim panels. There's a special press fit rubber retainer that runs along the outside. Starting at the center and working towards the outside ends, gently press the retainer into the channel on the body. Secure the Velcro strips at the front edge of the boot cover to the seat back. That was easy. Now you're ready to enjoy true open air motoring in an extraordinary car. Before you can raise the top, you must first remove the boot cover. Start by unsnapping the boot cover from the trim panel. Gently lift the retainer from the channel and release the Velcro, reversing the installation process. Now the boot cover can be removed. To help maintain the boot cover, it should be rolled up with the exterior facing outward and inserted into its protective case. Raising the top is quite simple. And note that the procedures for lowering the top apply here as well. The trunk lid must be shut, and we recommend you set the parking brake. And the transmission must be in park. If not, the system will not operate. Now switch on the ignition and start the engine if you're in a well-ventilated area. And press the top-up switch. If any side windows are up, pressing the top-up switch will lower them automatically. This prevents the top from touching the windows when lowering. And as you press the top-up switch, the top automatically raises. Continue pressing the top-up switch and the top stalls at approximately six inches above the windshield header. Grasp the handle recess in the middle of the top, push up, then pull the top straight down briskly to engage the pull-down actuators. When the top comes in contact with the windshield header, you'll hear both electric motors engage the top pins. These motors will now automatically lock the top in place. If you want to raise the windows, continue to hold the top-up switch for about seven seconds after the top is seated and the side windows will raise. Now, if the windows are up and you wish to lower them after the top is secured, another touch of the top-up or top-down switch will lower all of the windows. Now, otherwise, you may operate the windows independently with the individual controls. Now, once the top is up, reattach the Velcro headliner retainers above the driver and front seat passengers. You should also attach the fasteners at the back of the rear quarter windows. And that's all there is to it. As I'm sure you discovered, the M30 convertible is one of the easiest tops to raise and lower. Owning a convertible is somewhat different than owning any other type of car. A convertible does require special care to ensure years of carefree motoring. Now, some of this is just common sense. And some of the requirements are specific to the M30 convertible. For example, you shouldn't use brushes on the convertible top. They can damage the fabric or the back window. Harsh automatic car washes can also damage the top material and the back window. Think of it this way. The top is made of a fine but very durable fabric, so treat it accordingly. Remember, do not use harsh or abrasive cleaners or bleaching agents on the top. Here's the recommended procedure for cleaning the top and back window. Rinse the top and back window with cool or lukewarm water, then wash with mild soap suds and a sponge. Now afterwards, rinse the top and back window with enough water to remove all traces of soap. To dry the back window, use a clean, damp, open nap cotton cloth, such as a terry cloth towel. Now, do not press hard when you're drying the window, as that may cause scratches. And after cleaning, always be sure the top is completely dry before it's lowered. And remove any water that may have accumulated during the cleaning in the top stowage well behind the rear seat. The back window also requires special care to keep it clear and scratch-free during the life of the car. For example, there's a special coating on the back window. If it's washed with anything other than mild soap, the coating could be removed and the window will become hazed and mildew could form. For that reason, Infinity recommends that you never take your M30 convertible to a common commercial car wash. Here are some more tips. Never wipe the rear window with a dry cloth or use a scraper or de-icing chemicals on the window. Never use anything other than clear water and mild soap on the window. Now that includes window cleaner or all-purpose household cleaners. 
Special plastic cleaners and surface protectants should also be avoided as they could remove the protective coating from the window. Finally, never apply stickers or adhesive tape to the back window. While this may sound like a lot of information, top and back window care for the M30 convertible merely takes common sense. Fresh water and mild soap, it's that easy. If you'd like additional information about the care of your M30 convertible, please refer to Section 6 of the M30 Owner's Manual or the Service Manual Supplement that comes in the Owner's Literature Kit in your car. The Infiniti M30 convertible top is designed to provide years and years of effortless operation, but under some circumstances you may encounter what is perceived to be a problem. One example, if you're raising the top and both sides of the top fail to engage the windshield header and you continue pressing the top up switch, the system will automatically shut itself down. Now don't worry, the top isn't broken. There's a circuit breaker in the system that helps prevent the electric motors from overheating. After approximately 10 seconds, the system will reactivate, allowing you to properly release or reattach the top to the windshield header. Another possible scenario, what happens if your battery is accidentally drained and the top is down? Well, the top can be raised manually. Complete instructions for this operation are contained in Section 2 of your owner's manual. The M30 convertible is designed to give you years and years of trouble-free and effortless operation. If a perceived problem does arise, consult your owner's manual. And if that doesn't do it, your nearest Infinity dealer. As your dealer informed you, Infinity is committed to the total ownership experience. And if service is required on your M30 convertible, your Infinity dealer will try to minimize your inconvenience. The M30 convertible comes with a comprehensive, no-deductible, four-year, 60,000-mile basic limited warranty that covers the entire car, including the convertible top, back window, and all of the top motors and control systems. This warranty covers all defects in materials or workmanship. Other important warranties also apply. Please refer to your warranty information booklet or Infinity dealer. Simply stated, your convertible has one of the best warranties available today. All Infinity owners are also entitled to a 24-hour per day, 365 days per year, roadside assistance program, including designated trip interruption benefits supported through a customer assistance 24-hour toll-free number and free loan car availability during service if you make a service appointment. These are all key elements of the Infinity Total Ownership Experience. The Infinity M30 convertible is an exceptional automobile. And Infinity's goal is to make owning the M30 convertible or any Infinity a completely satisfying experience. That's one reason why this videotape was produced. That in turn helps you get the most out of your new car. And as we said earlier, nothing matches the feeling of driving down a country lane with a top down and the rush of the wind. Enjoy the view.